Hey guys, Joe from One Up Reviews, and today we are a sneak review and unboxing of the Nike Air Force One React. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way. I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's go, and today we've got a look at the Nike Air Force One React. And we've got this in the white and coconut colorway, in the UK size, Seven and a half, European 42, and it's a US 8.5. Let's get unboxing. Here it is. I know it's tough to get a triple white or white, or white Air Force Ones these days. So we thought, you know what? Uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen tons of reviews of white, white Air Force Ones. So we'll give you it with a bit new flavor. You know, Nike love their React technology. We've done uh, countless React technology sneakers. Big, big favor of Jeff over there. So big shout out to Jeff. He loves his races. And, you know, we, again, we've tried it on before. I know what to expect. Good reactive technology. You know, you've got that bounce back ability. That's even a word. I don't think it is. But hey, we made up some new words here at One Up Reviews. So let's start with the outsole. So this outsole. It's kind of a blend, but you still got the, uh, the basis of the same materials. So you can see a translucent um, half here where the heel is, and then you got you know the all white where you can always see it. And at the forefoot, it's like a little window to the React foam. You can see it there. And again, right here, just at the middle, you can see the Nike uh, swoosh, and it's exposed the uh, Nike React. And just in the back, so you can kind of still see the same shapes that you can find in an Air Force One. You know, there are those circles, two circles, like the fourth one and the heel. And what's different is it looks like it's a little pod at the heel right there. There is an air unit that's uh, located at uh, the heel, just over there, as uh, a lot of Air Max, air, not Air Max, sorry, Air Force Ones do. And we'll start looking at the midsole right now. So in the midsole, just as I mentioned before, there's encapsulated an air unit in the heel, there for the cushioning. And again, you can kind of see the React. So just underneath the cup sole here, there is React technology on the midsole. So not only do you got, you know, Nike React, Nike's most modern, their most innovative, technology in regards to comfort, but you've got the OG classic air unit that's encompassed in the heel. Now the upper, again, it kind of mirrors the same aspects of the sole, so it's split. You can see leather at the forefoot right there. So you can see all the characteristics that make up the white on white Air Force One. All leather here on the forefoot. See it there with the perforations recognizable to any eye. Then you got, um, instead of the Nike Air Force One little badge that you get on the laces, it's like this little um, sold on feature. That's there where the, that Nike Air Force One badge would be. You have a little swoosh right there on the side of the sneaker as well. And looking at the lateral side of the sneaker, you got the Nike swoosh, you know, the iconic one that you can see on the Air Force One, and it, you know, it continues all the way here into the medial side. Now, the other part of the sneaker is synthetic materials. You kind of, kind of see like a net theme there, and it reminds me of the Nike React, for, I believe it's the 37s, and like the first ones, especially those undercover um, collabs. It just reminds me of the material that was used on there. The very lightweight, so you got you know the lightweightness, the breathability of the mesh right here, and you know the classic look at the forefoot with the levers at the heel. So you, again, you've got a swoosh continuing, then you got again the thick materials, this net like material, pull tab right there, insole. So you got just a normal Nike Air insole unit foam, the tongue, 
very nicely spongy. This kind of reminds me of a hybrid between a runner and a basketball sneaker, if that makes any sense, because it reminds me of like the little microfiber flimsy tongue that you get, but it's not that flimsy as I mentioned, because you can see it's quite spongy right there. Flat laces, crisscross action, just how you like it. And that rounds off my review on these very interesting takes on the Net Force One. Again, these have Nike React technology in them, probably one of the greatest return of energy that Nike have in regards to their midsole units on an iconic line. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I wish we did have a pair of white and white Air Force Ones, but they're so tough to get. Uh, so we just thought we'll spice it up, review these Reacts for you guys. And I'm really intrigued because, you know, you got so much, you got the Reacts, you got this mesh upper. So I'm really intrigued to try these on and tell you guys how they feel, which speaking of, we'll roll out footage for you right now. So roll out footage of me trying these Reacts on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size fit if you want to get a snug fit. Um, one thing I didn't mention that the reason why it's split, I understand now, it's essentially the mesh back half is essentially a sock liner. So there is a, some elastic when you get your feet in. So it kind of feels like a running sneaker, but you know, you got a feel and the look of an Air Force One. Very, it's quite comfy guys. Got to take my word for it, obviously you got the dual cushioning of an Air Max, of an Air Bubble, sorry, and React technology. You can kind of feel it when you lift your feet. And yeah, I mean, they look cool. Very futuristic vibes, very different take on the Air Force One, but it won't be a one on Air Force One, will it? Let us know in the comments if you like this or if you prefer an Air Force One. I know I prefer my Air Force Ones. But yeah, just let us know your thoughts, feelings and emotions in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews with ZDN. Until next time, peace.